Hello everyone, I'm Nav, your cricket coach. There are so many videos on the internet where you can see coaches are teaching how to play different shots or how to bowl different kind of balls. But for me, it is to teach or coach or give awareness about the game, the tactical side of the game. But skills, I personally think, is not enough to win a cricket game. So we purely make in all of these videos to make you more successful as an individual or also as a team. When I started playing cricket, I started playing from very early age in a competitive environment. It straight away I started playing games, matches. What it did, it gave me so much awareness and confidence to play in competitive environment. And through all my coaching, that's what I've been trying to do with all of the cricketers I've been coaching. With the skills, I always want them to learn about the game so. When we're talking about knowing the game, basically we're talking about game awareness. Now, what is game awareness? awareness of the opposition? It's about knowing the conditions well. It's about being more competitive. It's about challenging the opposition. It's about being one step ahead of the opposition. It's about winning the game. It's about being more successful. It's about how can you bowl to your field. It's about how do you know what field you should have as a bowler. It's about which areas to hit the shorts where you can get, you can be more productive. It's about what balls to defend and which ones to attack, which bowlers to defend and attack. Unless you have all of these ideas and knowledge about these things, it's very hard to be successful or a winner. Creating dot balls generate wickets. Creating made in overs generate wickets. And also, even if you don't get wickets, it creates so much pressure on batters to make mistakes. And that's where you get wickets. It's very hard to get batters out. Most of the time, over 90%, the batters get out by their own mistakes. And you, as a bowler and as a fielding captain, this is your job to create that pressure environment where batters make mistakes. In our coming videos, we will be talking about how to bat in that scenarios when there's pressure and fielders on top of you and the bowlers are bowling to their line and length and they have a very good plan and then how can you find opportunities to get the ball is not swinging. Run. If the ball is not swinging, then as a bowler and as a captain, you should really quickly adapt. You cannot just keep bowling fuller and fuller and fuller and ball is not swinging and you keep getting hit or you keep getting driven. So what you do, you as a bowler, you pull your length back, take one or two slips out, try to cover those areas where you think you're going to get hit if you bowl back off length. You start hitting good length. The other option is taking the pace off, maybe bringing slow bowler, make it harder for batters to hit with 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 the line or with with the pace. Bring some spinners quickly uh, rather than later to see if there's any turn um, in 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 the wicket for you guys. So. This is what I'm talking about from game awareness point of view. You can't just come with one plan and then just bowl and then don't see, refuse what's happening or completely ignore what's happening in front of you and then you let that uh, opportunity go away and this is where you start chasing the game and you start going behind in the game. What we have tried to do in this video to give you a basic awareness about how can you be more competitive and how can you have more awareness to help you with your skills? Also, what should be a basic team you should be picking? What should be a basic simple decision once you're winning the tour? And then also when you are bowling first, what should be a mindset as a bowler or as a captain? You should have a plan. You, sh you cannot just run with the ball in your hand and hoping that you're going to get wicket or you will save runs. It's good to have at least one plan rather than no plan. Um, if you like this video, please share with your friends, with other people, players, coaches. We're going to be talking more about game awareness, mindset, uh, attitude to be more successful. I'm Nav, your cricket coach, and I'll see you soon.